hello that was so quick hello and welcome back to my channel it's wednesday and i started the day quite early so i could go on a little morning coffee date to one of my favorite raleigh bakery coffee shop places called yellow dog i'm dropping a big bomb at the beginning of this video i should probably like wait it out and tease it but i'm moving next month i haven't really talked about it anywhere but if you know historically like the fall time in august september october is kind of when i moved in the past which is when my lease is up my lease was actually up in august i extended it a couple months i did month to month rent not my favorite thing because the price skyrockets but I needed a couple more months to figure out like what my next move was going to be so I gave my notice for October 31st. Do I have another lease locked in yet? No but I will be moving by October 31st so stay tuned for moving content because that's coming up. All of that to say is over the next couple weeks I'm making a conceited effort. I have a list in the notes section of my phone of every like Raleigh local restaurant and local spot that I want to go to at least once twice as many times as I can before the move. I get asked a lot if I move because I don't like the city I think that's kind of inferred that when I move out of an area it's because I don't like the city and it's actually not that I, if I didn't like the city I probably like wouldn't move to it I feel that I do a good job visiting cities and touring in person and making an educated guess on where I'm gonna enjoy living I move around a lot simply because I'm young and I have negligible responsibilities you know I don't really have any dependents I work from home so I feel like this is the only time in my life where I can bounce around and move in different cities after college most of my friends got kind of spread out over the country anyway. Visiting friends and keeping up with friends already looks like a lot of FaceTime calls, a lot of girls trips, weekend trips, stuff like that. I don't really mind moving around. I really like it. I do think that the next place I move will be a somewhat permanent move. I think I'll be there for a couple years, but I'm still ironing out the details of that. I actually, funny enough, I reserved an apartment that I thought I was going to be moving into on October 15th. It's still under construction and they said October 15th should be fine. That's when we're going to open. They called me on Monday and told me that the building will, best case scenario, not even guaranteed, best case scenario opening in December, which isn't gonna work. So have to kiss that one goodbye and I have to find something else. Hopefully today I maybe will make some progress on that because I have some emails out to different landlords and stuff to see if the properties they have listed are indeed still available. So maybe we'll make more progress on that in today's vlog. Regardless, I will update you as soon as I know things, as soon as they're set in stone. I'm really glad that I didn't talk about this like October 15th move that I was so excited for um, because clearly that's not gonna happen and that building isn't gonna happen. So I'm really glad that I didn't announce that because it didn't happen but you know what when one door closes and another opens and this has happened a lot in my life I've learned over the past couple years when one opportunity that I was so excited for goes away I'm like devastated about it I'm so sad and then something always comes up that I'm more excited about that I wouldn't have been able to jump on had the first one worked out. You know what I mean? I feel like everyone's had a moment like that. So I'm trusting the process. I hope that I find an even better spot to move, but it is stressful. I love planning ahead. Like I can't even, or oh, I'm trying not to order furniture because I bought like a whole furniture set. That's another thing that's kind of shot me in the foot is when I've looked at new apartments recently, I just look at them with the mindset of my glorious nightstands are not gonna fit in there. So buying nice furniture does kind of limit where you can move in the future unless you're willing to part with said furniture and I don't want to part with any of this furniture anyways these are just Clara problems they're fine everything's gonna work out all that to say is lots of Raleigh exploring Raleigh restaurants everything coming up in the next couple weeks because I want to make the most of my last couple weeks here I love it here but I'm ready to move on to somewhere else somewhere I visited a lot lately visited a lot in the past couple years it's not gonna be a surprise to anyone once I announce it but biting my tongue because <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything because things are on a slippery slope as is. Enough about that. It is Wednesday. Woke up, did my normal thing, went to my favorite place, Yellow Dog, got a sea salt rosemary scone and an iced coffee, slingshot iced coffee. I'm obsessed with slingshot. This is a Raleigh brand. They make those fridge boxes that I've shown before. It looks like a boxed wine in your fridge, but it's just cold brew. I will genuinely, if there's not somewhere that sells it near me the next place I move, I will get on their monthly subscription or weekly subscription. I go through like a box a week. I am obsessed with this. It's like the best cold brew I've ever had. Today's kind of like a dreary day. I do have a lot to do. It's 10 a.m. now. I just had a call this morning. I think I have another call in a couple of minutes and I really want to get my Scotland footage halfway edited today. I have 25 hours of YouTube footage to edit 
of the my whole Scotland trip and then I have a London vlog that I want to get up I just need to get them up soon because the trip has already been like a week or week and a half in the past by now I'm trying to get those up by the end of this week I also have reels that are gonna go up TikToks that are gonna go up the newsletter that's gonna go out and then the newsletter will live on my website the whole Scotland trip I went on will be really nicely wrapped up so if you're ever going there or you're thinking about going there you want recommendations or you want to look back on what I did like there's gonna be like multiple places to do that really want to do better about organizing and categorizing my recommendations honestly and the theme of like my whole Raleigh discussion I think maybe I'll add a section to my website for travel I feel like I've talked about that before it involves hiring a web developer so that's the only reason it hasn't happened yet because I need to find one that can work within the organized chaos that is the back end of my website today's priority is wrapping up a lot of that Scotland content then I have a couple errands to run I have to go to the grocery store not like a major errand I have to do a UPS drop-off and I want to get my car washed and while I'm at the car wash I think I'm gonna cancel my membership I just don't think I think they swindled me on well, they didn't swindle me I swindled myself because I think you would have to go to the car wash four times like basically once a week in order to get your money's worth of the membership that I pay for and I go maybe like once or twice a month because I've been traveling obviously but also because kind of far out of the way from my apartment I'm gonna be an adult and cancel that because I should just be paying every time I go there's no reason to be paying monthly I think I pay like $40 a month that's kind of insane <laughs> but that's just the plan so far I'm gonna chug this coffee and I'm gonna set like an hour and a half timer see how much progress I can make on editing this video and then probably take a little break and go run those errands <laughs> taking a quick lunch break. This is just leftovers from yesterday. And my placemats are in the dishwasher using some pot holders in the meantime. My placemats are in the dishwasher. Did I really just say dishwasher? I'm in washing machine. Just finished lunch and in an exciting turn of events, one of those landlords got back to me and he's gonna let me tour the property over FaceTime right now. Let's hope this works out because that would be a huge weight off my shoulders for this week. Wish me luck. Well, one rental application and four hours later, I don't have an update on the rental application but i did finish a lot of work off my to-do list it is almost five o'clock i'm getting something delivered from 5 to 5 30. i'm going to just run to the grocery store really quickly and get some last minute stuff that was out of stock when i grocery shopped on sunday that i need for tonight's dinner so i'm gonna run and see if just like my local harris teeter i don't love harris teeter but they should have ground beef maybe i'll get myself some flowers to distract from the fact that i have nowhere to live next month i'm just kidding i'm being very dramatic it's gonna work out but i might get myself some flowers make it like a little treat i don't know we'll see we'll see what speaks to me you're lying oh my gosh i love these yes please I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm doing a no spend week. I mean, I should honestly be doing like a no spend year, but we're gonna start with a week. I made exceptions for groceries and since these flowers were kind of like grocery adjacent, I made an exception for these. So I got some white tulips and blue hydrangeas. I'm gonna find a spot for these. Apartment is a mess. Maybe this will motivate me to deep clean the rest of it. I kind of started deep cleaning on Monday and I got sidetracked by like actual work. So maybe I'll pick right up where I left off. I also got these Clio pumpkin spice bars. I thought these were only at Sprouts, but apparently they're at Harris Teeter too. Benefits of going to Harris Teeter tonight, I guess. I picked up six. I left a couple on the shelf, but I did buy a lot of them. And then I just got the remaining ingredients for tonight's dinner. It's like a pasta dish. So it calls for parsley, which strangely enough, Whole Foods was like sold out of. And then I also got ground beef and Italian sausage. Part of me wants to start cooking dinner the other part of me wants to wait for that delivery you'll see what the delivery is soon but maybe i'll just get these in flowers and then the person will text me what i meant to say is i will get these flowers in water and then i will wait for the person to text me my brain is like misfiring today it's happening a lot i'm gonna put the blue hydrangeas in this corner by the couch and then the tulips can go on this table the delivery has arrived i would bet money that you were not guessing it was going to be a pickup truck but i'm going to tailgate at the virginia tech football game this weekend and i'm borrowing a truck 
because my car isn't even big enough to fit my cooler in the trunk of so it just makes sense to get something like this for the situation and it's like low-key Virginia Tech colors so this just worked perfectly and now dinner is cooking this is a one pot pasta meal from Define Dish at the stage where the noodles are just gonna start soaking up some of this liquid and then hopefully I measured this correctly and it will all come together I'm gonna add cheese and a oh, ricotta goes in here too oh my gosh this is gonna be delish and instead of cleaning while that soaks up and finishes cooking I am gonna pour myself a glass of this little spritz these are so good Italian sprezza spritz Bianco spritz I don't know I feel like I never really show my guest room and this would be why because it never stays clean. This becomes a dumping ground for all sorts of stuff. This is luggage back here that like if I actually took the time would nest inside of each other and fit in there. Then it could go in the closet in here but I just you know it doesn't always happen like that. That's Poshmark orders, more stuff. This is clothes that hopefully will fit into this closet. The reason I bring you in here is because my mom is flying out of Raleigh on Friday morning, which means she's coming and staying here in the guest room Thursday night. I don't know why that's so hard for me, but anyways, I am not positive these sheets got washed the last time people stayed here. So I am going to strip the bed and put those in the wash right now. And I don't know, at least if they are clean, at least I'll be like freshening them up and they'll smell fresh, you know? Let me actually try and clean as I go clean and like organize and get all the stuff taken care of. I don't think I need to wash these sham. I can't even remember the last people to stay in this room. I have no idea. Whenever I show myself doing my little closing trip tonight and vacuuming, I always get questions about whether I get whether or not I get noise complaints. And I don't. And I honestly I've met my two like immediate next door neighbors and they're both like younger men, like single men just like living alone. Men makes them sound so old, like they're probably in their twenties. They are giving me like I don't know them, but they give me like late night kind of like gamer vibes. Anyways, I've never gotten a noise complaint because I have a feeling that like vacuuming at 8 o'clock at night for them like doesn't face them. new laundry detergent I've been testing out. I really like this scent. I just hate that they put it in this like pump bottle and I can already feel that I've used a decent amount. So it definitely does not have 50 loads in here, but the smell is really good. So I'll give them that. All locked in for the night. And this is another area that will be addressed tomorrow. Just a bunch of laundry from my last trip. Went on a little weekend trip to New York City this past weekend. So this is not Scotland, London related. <laughs> this was a trip after that. Bunch of shoes that need to find homes because that's not 
not really cutting it anymore. A Beast Blender that I'm not positive I'm gonna keep. I got that at Costco, so there's a good return policy, but I haven't decided. I just like don't have the storage to keep buying stuff like that, yet I do it anyway. This is some of the stuff I was supposed to take to UPS and I just didn't get around to it, so that will be tomorrow. I'm keeping it right next to my bag and I believe I have a 9.30 yoga class booked in the morning. I will just grab all of that and do all of those errands while I'm already out of the house and I'm gonna go cancel that car wash membership like I said I was going to. I am so, so close to going to bed. I just have to clean off all the clothes that are on the bed right now, do my skincare because clearly I need it. I picked up my face halfway through the day if you noticed some changes. But I have noticed that I switched back to Core Power from Pilates and I have noticed that sweating, like all the sweat from the hot yoga, I feel like is bringing, it's like purging my skin, like stuff's coming out of the surface and it's gonna be good in the long run because I do feel like my skin was at its peak best when I was doing hot yoga and I think it's just because you're like constantly like getting that out of your skin. It sounds kind of counterproductive but I always wash my face after classes so I'm excited to be back in the rhythm of hot yoga instead of Pilates simply for that and I just love the sweat and I feel like I drink way more water on days that I do hot yoga because my body's like craving it after sweating so much in the morning so I have a 9 30 class tomorrow like I mentioned. I'm super excited for it. I did have one today but I ended up canceling it because I had that 9 a.m call this morning and I didn't think I was going to be able to make it. In hindsight, I definitely could have, but I canceled it today. have classes Thursday, Friday, so I will have taken four classes this week. And let me just say, my legs are sore. 